Hello and welcome back everyone. And Forth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as our Jedi Knight Valerius Rowe. Where we last left off we were doing a Flashpoint interlude video. Basically we went back on board the Republic fleet on board Carrick Station in the distance there and responded to a emergency call by Jedi Master Satil Shan about a battle station known as Hammer Station that a group of aliens got a hold of and were using to basically subjugate other planets. We're going to spend a bit of time getting to know our couple of companions here, Kira and T7, and depending on how long that takes, we then may also go towards Ord Mantell in search of Darth Angrel. But uh, we'll, speak to T we'll speak to T7 first since he joined us first and he has wanted to talk to us since we left Typhon. This is him over here. I didn't realize you were so eager to leave the Jedi Academy. Get the feeling there's tough times ahead. I'm glad you're up for the challenge. Okay. So yeah, you get little prompts, little dialogue conversations. It used to be you needed you needed to go so far into the storyline and you needed so much kind of affection with your companions before more dialogue was unlocked. I'm not sure how it works now with the influence ranking. I imagine it's more down to how far you are in the storyline, but that's just guessing. Is there something you need to tell me? T7's been around for a hundred years. How old are you? I'm starting to see why you're so useful, T7. Yeah, Ven Zalo. Yeah, he was killed by Dorf Malgus. Why didn't the Sith destroy you when they killed Master Zalo? <laughs> Dolph Malgus is a bad man. Do you even know where to find him? Mm -hmm. Hmm. There are, and have always been, a few opening cinematics of Star Wars The Old Republic. I forgot what their names are. But there is one where it shows you the Jedi Temple on Coruscant being attacked by the Sith. Darth Malgus, of course, being one of the Sith Lords leading the charge with his... I almost want to say mistress, but more like his lover. I think she's a Twi'lek called Alina. And you actually see him fighting against the Jedi and fighting against Venzalo and obviously what transpires in that battle. It's a fairly short video, feel free to watch them if you haven't already. I like to watch them now and again. But what's interesting as well, there is a novel, a reasonably small novel called Deceived. I think it's by Paul Kemp, and it kind of not only features the fight at the Jedi Temple once again, but it also features Ven Salo's uh, Padawan called, I think she's called uh, is it Aria? 
and she kind of is filled with like hatred for Dorf Malgus and they end up fighting in the ruins. But it's quite interesting, it gives you more of an in-depth look into Dorf Malgus. He's quite an interesting character and we may learn more about him in this playthrough. You would talk to him more if you were playing as a member of the Sith Empire because how when we're doing flashpoints, how we are talking to Satil Shan, most of the members of the Empire are talking to Darth Malgus when they're getting instructions. But um, yeah, he's a very interesting character. Has a um, quite a bit of depth to him and his um, motivations for what he does. T7 has nothing more to say to us. So let's go speak to Kira. So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two, what's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. Um, I don't know. What is your job? What can you do? Um, I guess I'll give you free reign. I suppose if I was Alistair from Dragon Age, I'd ask if you could cook. That's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. <laughs> okay, so we gained a bit more influence with T7 and Kira. And yeah, it looks like they're available dialogue might be dependent on how far we are in the storyline, which is absolutely fine. Let's think, what do I... N I don't have anything on my person. I guess we should head ourselves over to Old Mantel. We're level 32. We have Dispatch. Throws the main hand lightsaber at a target, dealing a fair bit of energy damage. Only usable on targets at or below 30% maximum health. Huh. Okay, so it's like, in a, like a Coupe de Grace move. Interesting. Uh, where should we put that then? I'm trying to think of what... Uh, we'll pop it down here, I guess. Force sweep, force sleep. We have Cyclone Slash. I should try and keep all my AoE abilities like on one row of buttons. Stasis, Kick, Coup de Grace. We have our Camouflage. Yeah, okay. Level 32 gives us Excise. Lance sunders the target for 45 seconds. Sundered targets have their armor rating reduced by 20%. So that's the literal lancing attack with the dual lightsabers. Okay. And our next passive is available at level 36. Okay, good to know. Right, I suppose we should get ourselves over to Ord Mantel then. Old Mantel, yeah, is in the core worlds. Where are we? Balmora, Old Mantel. A long standing member of the Galactic Republic, Old Mantel is a world of deep seas, tall mountains, and lush islands. Traders and merchants from across the galaxy ply their wares in Mantellian ports, along with black marketeers and other underworld forces. In recent years, Ord Mantel has become embroiled in civil war, as anti-government separatists encourage Mantillian independence in the face of a brutally corrupt government with ties to organised crime. The Republic is responding with military force, and the fighting has resulted in high numbers of civilian casualties. Shuttle traffic is currently directed to the island of Avil Latin. Hmm. So yeah, we do need to land our starship on an orbital 
space station and then take a shuttle down to the spaceport. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantel. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T-7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarg against myself while you have all the fun. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Atau. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Take care of things here. We'll return soon. Have fun down there. You know, I just remembered something. I'm not going to say anything, but I just remembered something. Ah. This has been a long time since I played my Jedi Knight. It's all starting to trickle back to me now. So we'll get ourselves to the orbital station. Oh, I knew I was going to do something on the Republic fleet. I was going to see if... What... Starship gear was available for the Defender so we could do some space missions. We'll have to go back to the Republic fleet. Bugger. I'll probably do that off camera. Oh, Kira. Uh, no. You need to stay. If that's what you want. Unfortunately, you need to stay in guard ship. We need to take T7 with us. There's a few worlds like this when you need to take a shuttle down and you can't land on your starship. down to the spaceport. Here we are. So we need to find Agent Otau. One thing I may do as well, there are... You saw how when we recruited T7, we had a choice to change his... like his palette, his skin colour. And you can do that with all of your companions, and as you visit various worlds, more customizations are available from different NPCs. I might change how Kira's appearance is. Not too sure. Maybe. I think there is a customization vendor on the next world we're due to visit. There's the agent over there. Agent Otau, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. What have you learned about Darth Angrel's operation here? General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? You aren't giving me much to go on, Agent. Sorry, but that was my last probe droid. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, 
We'll learn what Darth Angle's been up to. Be seeing you. So, you told me absolutely nothing. Great. The island is in the northern section of Old Mantel here. We don't need to explore anywhere else, unless we we're really, really keen to do so. What is... Ah, dispatch does use free focus. Okay. See some troopers and smugglers running around here. We need to be up here, I think. There's a couple of heroics we could do here. We don't really need to when we're way over leveled. You can see actually we've been de-leveled at level 12 in this section. This way it is. The light side has grown stronger, good. Oh, there's some Imperial recon droids. There isn't any bonus, it seems, for defeating them, so let's just cut through them as quickly as possible. Before they sound the alarm at the very least. Ah, guess where we're going. Real commandos. Ah, so that's what dispatch looks like. Spinny lightsaber. Crap. Nice amount of damage. It's going to be a theme that I'm trying to press it, but I don't have the focus to actually cast it. Secluded Island Facility. Doesn't look like it's a very large facility. Quite a large elevator though. Let's uh, be patient. Try not to fall to our death. Sounds like there's a ship trying to take off our land. How close are we to... Okay. I wondered how close we were to Dreliad Village. Because that's the starting town that you arrive in. Playing as a smuggler or a trooper. Hello! We got their attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, let's have a look. Coolant tanks over here. So that's the bonus mission complete. Lieutenant Markovic here. Oh. Looks like you have something to tell me. I'll be just a moment. You hold that fort. Deal with some of your imperial friends. Markovic, rank lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. Your big talk is wasted on me. You may as well kill me now. You'll never hold me prisoner. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there! Located the design files codenamed the Desolator, creating world killer weapon using Republic technology. Copy every file you can, T7. We need to know what this Desolator weapon can do. You won't live long enough to tell anyone. Really? Really? Well, that was just embarrassing. Non-functional. Yeah, that's one way to put it. I didn't want to kill him. He should have surrendered. So we got the files and erased it from the database. Okay. Let's get ourselves back to Fort Garnick. Yep. Back already. That was quick. T7 downloaded some of Angrel's communication logs, but the rest were destroyed. Some intel is better than none. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. And that's basically all we needed to do here. Actually, I think there's a law object. Yep. There we go. We learned about Republic military ranks by just staring at a Republic flag. We're pretty good like that.
back up to the orbital station, we can actually jump straight to our ship. But for the purposes of the story, we need to go to our ship this way. Imperials. Great. So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. Put down that lightsaber and step away from my Padawan. Spare me your pathetic demands. I hold the power here, not you. Imperial intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. Release my Padawan. It's your only way out of this. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain death to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty? Jedi accept responsibility for others. Sith only care about themselves. You're as dull as you are pointless. Let's get this over with. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Yep, that kind of went exactly how I expected it to. Darth Angle came and interrogated you personally. And you're still alive. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. I'm glad you're safe, but I need to know what this was all about. Not much to tell. One second I'm watching smugglers haggle over spice, next thing I know the Sith have me. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. You obviously didn't tell him anything useful. What kind of Jedi do you think I am? Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Ah, this leader attaches to a battlecruiser. Cru Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. Hmm. Yeah. Why was... Why... Couldn't the Sith kill Kira? Why wasn't he allowed to? Unless they were keeping her as a trap for ourselves. Which kinda worked. Looks like Tarnus was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battle cruiser with it. It's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. What about Master Orgus and Quix? Have they checked in? They went on calm silence after leaving Coruscant. They're due to check in soon. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this Desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shadda is vital, but there's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. 
How can I make an informed choice without information? Too many security breaches here. I won't risk the enemy finding out about this. When you reach Terrace or Narshada, contact me. And good luck. Great. I'm going to be saying that a lot, I think. So, we have two destinations, Taris and Narshadar. I think Agent Galen is on Narshadar. Yep. But something, as he mentioned, is happening on Taris. Hmm. In order, it's really Taris, then Narshadar. Because back in the day, Taris was about recommended level 18, 20-ish. And Narshadar was about level 23, 25-ish. When, when you should visit them. Approximately, anyway. I've been wrong before. I don't think any of our companions wish to speak to us right now. We have a little bit of vendor food. Okay, we'll end this video here. When we come back, I'll probably park myself back at the Republic Fleet. I want to go check on a NPC to see what... Ooh, come on. Yeah, see what equipment we can buy for our Defender Class Light Corvette. We might do a couple of space missions. Maybe. See, I haven't done them for years now, so we might do a couple of the easier ones to break myself into it and see if I really want to enjoy myself with them again or not. But we'll see. This, of course, has been Anthwolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for even more in the next video. Until then, though, bye-bye now.